Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is another clean out your pantry, use up what you got stocked up video. In today's video, I'm going back through that stockpile that I have. I'm gonna try to use up a couple more items for tonight's dinner. I actually woke up feeling under the weather. So, I pushed through going to work and now I just want some soup and that's what I'm going to do. So, let me show you what we've got left and let me tell you about my idea. My idea is thanks to you. All right, this is our next pantry meal and after the one we did last time, this is what we have left of our stockpile. So today we're gonna try to get this down a few more ingredients. So I think today I'm gonna do something with these au gratin potatoes. I think I'm gonna use this corn muffin mix. And yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do tonight. All right, someone gave me the idea of turning this au gratin potato kit into a potato soup. And that just sounds really good to me right now. So I think I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna go ahead and make up this corn muffin mix, but I think I'm gonna jazz it up with some stuff I found in the fridge. So to turn this into soup, I'm gonna need some chicken stock. So I've got two of these bouillon cubes that I have that I'm trying to use up. So I'm gonna use two of these. And then I found this bag of bacon pieces that I thought I could add to that. And then also, this was in my fridge. I've got a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese and it called for adding sour cream to it. I don't have any sour cream, but I do have this Greek plain yogurt and I need to use it up like in the next couple of weeks. And I still got quite a bit. So I'm going to use some of that. We're going to turn this into a potato soup and see what it tastes like. And then... I thought that these corn muffins would be good just to crumble in or eat beside our potato soup. And to jazz this up a little bit, I could add some of this cheddar cheese. And then I found this one lone jalapeno pepper in my fridge. I think I'm gonna add to this. I am gonna follow the box directions. So I'm gonna need an egg and a little bit of milk. So let's use it up. The first thing I'm going to do is get my corn muffins ready. So I'm going to finely dice this jalapeno. I'm going to take the seeds out. This will add some pizzazz to the muffins. And I'm using up this jalapeno right before it goes bad and using up that corn mix, corn muffin mix. So thought about saving the corn muffin mix for something like a tamale pie or something, but I really wanted something to go with this potato soup. So I said, let's use this. And that's what we're doing. Is it just me? For some reason, I just feel a sense of accomplishment when I use up stuff. A third a cup of milk.
just put a little handful of cheese. Now I have six muffin cups sprayed. I'm gonna pour this in. We're gonna put these in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes, then we'll give them a check. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do with this. I'm gonna take the potatoes. Now I'm gonna add, I have this itty bitty bag of diced carrots here from my freezer. I think I'm gonna add that in just to use it up. I mean, we're using up stuff from the fridge and freezer too where we can. So we're gonna add that, the cheese sauce packet that came with it. I'm going to add two bouillon cubes because I have it to use up. Anytime that you can add stock or bouillon in soups or for water, it's just gonna add a ton of flavor. So I'm gonna add two of these. and four cups of water. And let me just give this a stir. Okay. So we're going to put this on the stove and heat to boiling. Here are the muffins out of the pan. I may, <laughs> I may have overfilled that one, y'all. Okay, the soup came to a boil. Now I've reduced it to low. I'm gonna let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Okay, our potato soup has simmered for a while now. Uh, about 25, almost 30 minutes. So I'm gonna add some final things in to make this delicious. I like a lot of pepper, so I added in pepper. I did not add salt because there was that cheese sauce, and I know that probably had salt in it. And I'm gonna add some bacon bits and cheese, which is gonna be salty as well. Okay, I'm gonna add in a half a cup of plain Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Use whatever you have on hand, or you could just add a splash of milk or some heavy cream. I just wanted to add something dairy in here to make it creamier. So we're gonna do half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. All right, so I'm gonna give this a stir and let this simmer another five to 10 minutes just to let that Greek yogurt come back up to temp. But look, this soup is so much creamier. And it's gonna have the tang. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so good. All right, so this would be good just as is, but I added in a handful of cheese. I'm gonna stir that in. Oh my gosh, look how creamy, y'all. And now let's add in some of these bacon pieces, just a little bit. Okay, I think our soup is just about ready. And this is gonna be so comforting. Oh my gosh. All right, so here is that potato soup. Smells delicious and oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I've got my jalapeno and cheese muffin. Y'all, let's give it a taste. Okay, y'all, we are gonna give this a taste. Look at the inside of this muffin. Look at the inside of this muffin. I don't know if you can see it. With the jalapeno and the cheese. Let's give that a taste. Mm. 
I love the taste of a jalapeno pepper. And that's not even spicy like that. So, here's my soup. Oh. Smells amazing. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. 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 I have never, ever thought about taking an au gratin potato mix and turning it into soup. But... That is good. Mmm. Mmm. How many of us don't have one of those kits in our cabinet from some sale or holiday or something? And y'all, it is so good. It's so good. Thank you. This is so good. Thank you for suggesting this. Y'all leave your comments down below because your suggestions I'm reading and this was a suggestion and it is amazing. If you have one of these kits hanging around your cupboard, make this soup i mean today i'm feeling under the weather and this is hitting the spot and i'm using up things from my pantry but i also used up some cheese that i had some yogurt that i had a jalapeno that i had i had milk in the fridge just things that i already just had on hand i didn't have to go to the store for anything so if you like this video give me a thumbs up i love you guys I love it when you leave me comments and suggestions down below. And I will see you in the next video where we will continue to work through that stockpile of ingredients that need to be used up. Bye.